following the incessant adoption of school children by bandits across the country. The incident has greeted APC-led regime with some reactions and complaint from concerned Nigerians as to why the federal government has been unable to bombard the enclaves and hideouts where the perpetrators used to inflict grievous and traumatic injuries to the health of Nigerian parents and children. According to the Punch report, the federal government has on Wednesday, through its Minister of State for Education, Chukwemeka Wajiba, stated that orders have not been given to the military to bombard the terrorist den, as it would adversely affect the school children in their custody. Although Wajiba described the adoption of students and their tutors in rational schools was a matter that required urged attention. However, he added that the government is collaborating with the security agencies to guarantee the safety of innocent civilians and students in captivity. Explaining further, he described worries about the cheaper girls who have been in captivity for over seven years, stating categorically the government cannot on literally start bombing everyone as would not afford to lose the children you know the school children in their custody recall that about 83 students of the federal government college by name yari kebi states are still in bandit stay and 136 poopy who were adopted from an islamic school at tejina niger state in may have spent 71 days and counting in terrorist captivity it was also reported that parents of 80 students of Bethel Baptist High School, Maraban Damishi Kaduna State, who were still in Bandix then contributed 300,000 naira each last Friday for the release of their children. What is your thought about this that has been said? What is your point of view concerning the present situation of things? We'd like you to drop your thoughts concerning the present insecurity that is bedeviling the country presently, according to what we've had, following the incessant adoption of school children and you know by bandits across the country. The incident has greeted APC-led regime with some reactions and complaints by concerned Nigerians as to why the federal government has been unable to bombard the enclaves and hideouts where the perpetrators used to inflict grievous and traumatic injuries to the health of Nigerians, parents, and children. What is your thought about this? It is obvious that these perpetrators have inflicted so many grievous and traumatic injuries to the health of most Nigerians. And the present administration of Nigeria is probably not doing anything about it. How do you expect all this agitation to stop? That is why we have agitation here and there, and we have agitators who are, you know, ready to do everything possible to make sure that the agitation is being actualized. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to this present development? We'd like you to share your thoughts with us on this that has been said. We'd like you to share your own reaction via the conversation on this present development. We all know what is happening presently in Nigeria. Obviously, we can all see the present insecurity that is bedeviling the country and we have also seen why we have not bombarded the bandit camp according to what the federal government have said in their reason that we still have most of our students that are still in the camp of these you know adopters and we cannot just go there and bomb everywhere because we cannot afford to lose our children we cannot afford to lose our puppies what is your thought about this that has been said? And this insecurity that is bedeviling presently is endlessly contributed by the corruption of the leaders of Nigeria because it is said that most of those leaders have direct contact with all these bandits. 
and also insecurity is also being contributed to by the present poverty level in Nigeria and also unemployment. This too has really contributed to the present situation of things in Nigeria because people who are idle can do anything possible to survive. Let's assume people who are moving around the streets, people who have gone to school, study, acquired you know, different certificates, some even graduated with first class but there's nothing to show for it. They could not acquire good employment opportunity from a very good company or organization. Tell me, these people are probably going to be lured into all these banditry activities because according to what some of our leaders have said, kidnapping is a business and kidnappers are doing their business and we prefer them to all these activists that are you know, trying to defend their land and are agitating for what they think is the best way to go about the present situation of things to avoid external invaders in their lands. What is your thought about this? Just you think it's high time the government of Nigeria needs to wake up from their slumber and do something about the present unemployment of, you know, that is bedeviling the country presently and also the poverty level. If unemployment is being met, it will surely affect the level of poverty in Nigeria positively because people who, you know, are not employed now are people who are living in poverty but let's assume they are employed and they are being paid. Tell me the poverty level in nigeria will reduce drastically what is your reaction to this we like you to share your own point of view with us on this brain development we like you to share your thoughts with us on this but before we go let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in nigeria guests here have reacted to this present situation and said that means you will never bump their camps because there will never be a time that they will not have kidnapped victims within them. What is your thought about this? We have heard, according to the news, that the you know security agencies of Nigeria have said they cannot bomb the camp of the you know kidnappers because of the victims they had there. We, we cannot afford to lose our uh, innocent citizens to them, all in the name of getting rid of them. According to guests, he said. If that should be the case, it shows that you will never get their camps burnt. You can never get it bombed because there's no how, there's no point in time they will not have a victim, you know, innocent one with them. It's not possible for the kidnappers not to have victim within them. So it shows that you will never bomb their camp. That is what guests have said. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to what guests have said? Sam Onora reacted to this also and said, Anybody expecting this government to be hard on bandits did not know how the bandits came about. What is your thought about this? That if you are sitting there and you are expecting the government of Nigeria to be hard on bandits, honestly, you don't know how the bandit came about. Because if you are aware of how the bandit came about, you will never think like that because Everybody in Nigeria knows that the government of Nigeria will never be harsh on bandits. What is your thought about this? Some people among the leaders of Nigeria have even turned themselves into bandit sympathizer and always pleading amnesty for them. What is your thought about this? We'd like to share your own reaction via the conversation on this present situation. We have heard about the present insecurity challenges we have in Nigeria and we have seen the reason why the, you know, the security agencies of Nigeria cannot bomb the bandit camp according to what the federal government has given to us as their reasons why they cannot bomb the bandit camp. They said because of our you know, children who they have within them, because of our puppies who are victims of the kidnappers. Because of these people, we cannot get their camps bombed. What is your thought about this? According to what we've had in the comments by guest said that, if that should be the case, then you will never get the hideout bombed. What is your reaction to this? We have had different reactions from people who like you also to drop your thoughts concerning the present situation of things. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.